Hello and welcome back to my Savinkov Russian Let's Play. Right now we are focusing on getting the Secure Central Asia focus, so that way we can go and retake the land from the Islamic Federation of Turkestan. But one thing I noticed in these episodes is I can actually go ahead and demand Karlea from Finland. It's something I'll get around to, but first I would rather focus on getting these 17 civilian factories and 9 military factories beforehand because if you look at Finland, they have less civilian. sorry, they have the same amount of civilians, but no, never mind, never mind. They have less civilians and less military factories, so this overall is, I guess I'd say, a better investment of our time, so that's important. Plus, we, we can do this at any time, I believe. And once we do that, maybe we can even go back through and create the, uh, do the Seek Allies one and try to get Finland on our side. That would be ideal, in my opinion. Would we do? Take, uh, Carlia, and then after we take Carlia, get them on our, on our side in the Alliance. Alright, Pavel Govov and the KPZ and our PR. Rapidly growing and strength during the 1930s, the NRPR absorbed several other far-right parties in the Russian sphere to its, to its enormous mass, all of them bringing political subsidies of their own. One of them was the Peasant Green Army, led by Pavel Gorgolov, a Cuban Cossack writer and political ideologue. There was Russian chauvinist, anti-Semitic, and nationalist as any other member of the party. The KPZ emphasizes a connection which Russian people have a soil and with peasant life. After Savinkov's takeover in Russia, Pavel Borovov is now appointed as the Ministry of Agriculture has taken on tours across the country, bringing the message of the NRPR to dozens of villages across central and southern Russia. His call for Russia for the Russians and his emphasis on the national peasantry reflect in the reforms he has undertaken ever since his appointment. He has turned Russian villages into tightly knit, ethnically pure communities, perfectly obedient to the Vizad and represented by the Russian national superiority. Gorgorov's views are also highly esoteric and even as a Ordinates aren't sure whether he is sane. His emphasis on the peasantry cu accumulates in his colloquies at Wild Primitives and Scythian, Russian civilization throughout the Western civilization, and established new order across the world. His somewhat low ranking role in the government means that his creed has little influence over the government, although his agrarian faction within the NRPR, who mostly farmers, members of the KBZ, stand by his ideology. Interesting. Gain stability and gain some infrastructure. I'll take it. Guatemala joins the Revolutionary Front. Alright. So I want to keep our political power going up just for right now. So then we can go ahead and seek allies. Alright, let's go ahead and attack. Actually, this doesn't cost that much in terms of political power, so let's just go ahead and get some more. Cuba's joined the Reich's Pact. Alright, that's not too much of a worry to me. Production with tanks. Let's look. Actually, you know what? No, we are not doing that. We are going to go ahead and get medium tanks researched. Actually, real quick. Never mind, no, I cannot use army experience to rush that. Seek allies done. Sure, we can. Never mind, you know what? For the next 
two researches of it. You know what? I know I'm jumping around a lot, but we'll go ahead and actually do the infrastructure. We'll lose that 2%, but it's fine because we've got a two year ahead of time. Two in Bulgaria. Eternal Autocrats, right? Where's this new work? Right, don't crash. Focus on moving the forward. Can take that city, that'll be important. That city's We'll need to go all the way down there to get their capital. So it's going to be a long process. <laughs> Genghis Khan's legacy. Famous linguist and historian, to his politics in the 1930s, and now chosen to codify the theological doctrine of the Eurasianism to a single book, Genghis Khan's legacy. A look at Russian history from the East. It has already begun making rounds across the Russian literary circles, and crude quotes are being passed around across the public. Eurasianism believes in the concept of living space, geographical conditions which define the peoples living within them. People who live in the same biome or geographic area form a common civilization have a natural desire to unite Russia in their view forms the core of a steppe civilization which encompasses all people of Eastern Europe and Central Asia. Regionists describe them as collective kinship and call for them to unite under Russian rule. Ruski declares that the Grand Duchy of Moscow and therefore Russia, success for the Mongol Empire and Genghis Khan was a hero of the Russian people. The Russia Eurasia needs to embody ideas and beliefs which Eurasianists believes are Eurasian selfishness, heroism, so a hierarchy and obedience. Eurasianists believes that democracy the form of governance for a sea people and is completely unfitting for Russia. Not only should Russia fight against democracy and postpone it, it should also liberate other non European nations from Western rule and defeat what they perceive as Western cultural imperialism. The publication of the book is a good to begin to float around the Russian right. Gain of social conservatism, that's not good, but stability's fine. And Japan announces her ambitions. Yagatov! Смирно! Выходим! Yeah, you guys can just kind of go like that. You guys can go down for the capital. Let's go down for like right there. Yeah, we don't have near enough stuff supplied. Stockpile back. Got off. 
go ahead and go up to the limited construction. Just so we can have some more water. There towards cutting them off. Motion. And pull forward in specialists. Cool. That's done. What do we want to focus on? We'll go ahead and get that done. Go Picasso. Right, cool. New Gato. capital. Yes, never another breast with the bisque. Now that the situation in Russia has begun to say wise Russian people have begun to turn westward. The Treaty of Brest Lysovic has paraded as an example of punitive treaty since its inception, but only now has Russia gotten confident enough to consider repudiating it. Printing presses are the publishing maps and treaties where Russia's western neighbors are declared German occupied western territories and locals living there are described as suffering awaiting the return of Mother Russia. This is one of the issues that can unite the Russian right, left, and center, though for different reasons. Russian nationalism is obviously a secret vengeance against Germany, where the lefty see, leftists see Germany as a hegemon which prevents the rise of social and socialism in Europe. No matter what regime may be in charge, we w they will need to place the reconquest of Russia's western territories at the top of the priority list. If you want to see Russia start this war ever, the general line of thought among Russian populists and some populists. Politicians that Russia needs to wait, observe, and ascend like a hawk when Germany's focus elsewhere. Cunning has saved Russia and countless wars before. This moment will be no different. Right. Instability and war support. Yeah, I can finish you guys off pretty easy. So the syndicalists are successful in South America. That's unfortunate. Looking back on it, we probably should have sent volunteers in Argentina, but... All states. Done easy. Alright. You guys, let's go ahead and go over here. Okay, maybe that's not unlocked. The fate of Central Asia. Reintegrate. Okay, following your campaign, the Sabs Central Africa now control the several territories of the former states of that region. Luckily, is an own politician petitioning for autonomy in these regions. The Sabs have been proposed, ranging from complete petition of the region to up to five states. Reintegrate is, I th is what I think I want to do. Alright, cool, that's done. Ah, we probably could have gotten that done quicker if we just stuck with it. Okay. I 
for sure there was a thing to demand something from Mongolia. Am I blind? Well, anyways, I guess we'll do this for right now. Let's hurry, hurry. Let's go ahead and demand it. It'll take 14 days. Yeah, we're the program done. Let's try to set the vision recovery rate. So this is this is still going down. Are we about to start a war? The national rearmament. Russia may hold ambitions if we're taking the West, but even the most radical Russian actions can tell that she will not be able to challenge Germany in this state. The military industry has been neglected, and our economy is not yet ready to outproduce the West. The Russia holds massive potential. Many sacrifices will have to be made before we are able to repudiate the Treaty of Brest Pacific. Which is why these sacrifices have been proposed. The government has introduced a bill for national government, including austerity policies and expansion of state owned production arms, even if they'll come at a cost. Reclaimed lost territories. Limited. I just don't want to lose that much political power. Get those building slots. How much political power am I getting a day? It's a hundred extra days, a hundred days worth of political power. You know what, we'll do it. No приказа! Готов подвигаться. Go ahead and do a one time production of just a bunch of troops. These guys are held back by artillery, that's fine. Go ahead and get you guys all around here. Get compliance up. No precursor. Ireland's on the Rex Pact. Sion's probably our best choice to get rubber from. All things considered. Good 
more and more to this down. is dead. The recognized legitimate candidate for Russian throne where the Romanov is at today is the ultimate Romanov pretender to the throne. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get the political power. Cost a new Russia. Ukraine proposes an alliance. Ukraine is kind of offering us a military alliance for almost because access to the vast agricultural system, black sea ports, and the undermining of Germany's Reichsbank right block. While well, it certainly be good to stand in our side, but the reaction from Germany would be unfavorable to say the least. What shall we do? Accept the offer, offer. We do not need this. It'll be risky, but you know what? You know what? Let's take a quick look. You know what? It's worth it. If they want to start a war over this. I think we can hold. Kick you from this action. No, I can't, but that's fine. Compliance is going so slow, okay. Tank's almost done. Show that factory output will be nice. I still never did frontline common source. All right. There's all the Right, this tank finally get a little bit more source efficiency. Let's, let's max out that tank. Motorized also needs to be maxed out. So filling factories are moving in the right direction. The jury has joined the right pact, okay. So, Riga gets its own focus tree, but these guys don't? No. 
Okay. Done. Two front line comments right before I do that. Готов выдвигаться. That's probably enough. Go here. Whoa, you. Do we have an infantry guy? Yes, we do. Remember, I think this is the guy I just uh, to send volunteers with. Encryption's good. Let's go with this first industry. So that's a lot of land, but not a lot of uh, factories. At least not enough to justify it. Let's take a look over here. A lot of what we're waiting for now is just for France to start the war. Oh wait, and I don't think I've actually went through and changed this yet. Alright, I have not. It's kind of important. Vladimir Pritchkov dies. Look here. Okay, that's a lot of tanks in the negative. In fact, let's go ahead and go like that. Okay, literally every civilian factory that we could possibly have is working on finishing off civilians, and then we're just going to start getting a bunch of militaries in. So. That's fine by me. You know what? AUS, go ahead. You can have our excess guns. I don't know if that's going to help you too much, but something. Ratification Treaty of Kurslav. Disarmament of the Russian Empire of the Wall Creek, both Russia and Ukraine have both been independent countries with their own destinies. At the same time, both states have proven to be weaker apart, you know, now. Now, with each state having reached some level of domestic stability, more and more citizens in both nations are calling for their reunification. Take away the rule of Russia file Vera one Nod party in Ukraine. Though it could lead to a split in the Reich's back, this might be one of a great chance for the Great and Little Rus to reunite into a resurgent Greater Russia, a state that can confidently oppose Germanic cause money in Eastern Europe. Now that we have received Ukrainian problems in communication, how shall we react? 
Oh my gosh, okay. We're gonna lose 20% stability, but we just got the Ukraine voice. Okay. Did, did that really just happen? A. Okay. Wait, wait, give me a second. Yes. Integrate the state of Ukraine so we can get some more population, but oh my gosh. Okay. So that happened. Didn't know that could happen. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, but unfortunately, we've uh, ran out of time. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.